Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm continuing my series where I turn random stuff into cute character designs. With today's prompt being musical instruments, I knew I wanted to choose a instrument from sort of the violin family, and I ended up going with the cello. I think the cello already kind of looks like the silhouette of an hourglassy sort of female form, um, so I thought this would be a really good jumping off point for this challenge. Now, um, I knew for her sort of personality and character design, I wanted her to be a very like elegant, um, sort of ethereal, but also like commanding sort of character, because I find that the cello, while it is a very like deep sound which makes it sound powerful it also has a very like beautiful and um i don't know it's like it's there's something that feels so fancy about it um so i really wanted her to embody both this sort of like strong presence as well as um this sort of like light elegant sort of attitude um i of course made her have that sort of like cello shape to her body with sort of a trimmed in waist and then um a bit more voluptuous in other areas and i also made sure to put this little like curl up at the front of her hair i thought that would be a really great way to bring in the shape of the top of the cello where the wood is sort of carved into this beautiful little spiral um i thought that would work really well and i ended up giving her these sort of ear piercings up at the top of her ear that look like the little tuner things at the top i actually don't know what these are called in a cello but i also made her hair be tied back with like these you know they're supposed to be like the strings of the cello which i discovered in my research for this video were actually used to be made out of gut they're called gut strings because they made them out of like the intestines of animals um really really off-putting but uh certainly certainly creative um I also decided to try to take the like neck, the, the black stripe down the neck of the cello and sort of just apply that to the front of her costume. Um, and as for color, I really wanted to just like sample the color straight out of the instruments for this video. I thought that really sticking very closely to those color palettes would be an interesting challenge. And I really ended up enjoying the like very like deep red brown color of the cello. Luckily, because it's made out of wood, it has all these different striations of different colors and it allowed me to use a, a pretty big range um, and I thought they just looked really beautiful together. I was scared her skin was gonna look like way too red um, and it's still not like super realistic but I think the warmth of it is actually kind of um I don't know, it turned out really cool. Uh, I added this like sort of splashy cyan highlight just to make it even more striking, and then she was done. Um, all she needs now is a name. Please let me know in the comments if you have one for her. Next instrument I wanted to draw is the piccolo, and I have a very love-hate relationship with the piccolo. As many of you may know, I used to play flute. I actually played it all throughout elementary, middle, and high school in the jazz band, and um, so I was always seated in the same section as the one piccolo girl. Uh, flutes are already in a very high register. There are some notes like B and C on a flute that just sound like shrieking, like they're very, very high pitched. So for the piccolo, which is an even smaller, even even higher register instrument they're actually kind of hard to sit next to um, they're just they're so 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 high-pitched um, so for this character I really wanted her to be of course tiny um, but also to look sort of like shrill I don't know how to explain how to make a character look visually shrill I just wanted her to look like sort of anxious and um, jittery kind of like a human chihuahua um, because that's very much the energy I get from piccolos um, the two references pictures I used one of which had a like sort of matte black body and one was just like the standard all silver model I thought it might be nice to have two different sort of outfits for her based on this I've never actually seen a piccolo with a black body before um, but I thought that it would make for a little variation in this otherwise very like homogenous um, sort of character design I also made her have sort of like this very anime hair that sort of goes all the way down to her ankles um, because it gave, gives her more of that like shape of just like a sort of elongated smooth rectangle. <laughs> I ended up going really literal with like the way I designed her clothes. Um, it's kind of just a piccolo costume. Uh, I sort of thought it looked like a tunic, the way that it's formless and goes all the way down to her like knee area. Uh, so I basically just put the keys of the piccolo all down her tunic as like sort of like the snaps that would hold it together. And I also decided to cover one of her eyes and make her eye color black so that it would look sort of like the mouth. Piece 
piece, the mouth hole um, of the piccolo. Uh, I thought that that would kind of work visually. She ended up looking kind of drab and depressing. I was even going to shade her skin with gray, but I ended up giving her like a little pink blush, even though there's not really any pink on the instrument. I just thought I'd give her a little more life because she was looking so depressing. So there's the tiniest member of our little musical ensemble finished. Um, again, she needs a name, so if you can come up with one, please let me know and I'll pick it in the next video. Next up is the synthesizer. I knew that after I did the first two that I wanted to try and get some electronic instruments as well and none is more fundamental than the synthesizer. Um, synthesizers really became popular in like the 80s I believe um, and they opened up the world to a lot of different options especially for musicians who were working by themselves. Um, it used to be to get a full like rich sound in your music uh, you basically needed a whole orchestra but with synthesizers and like electronic layering of sound it made it so that even singular people could make like really incredible complete songs um, all by themselves so I definitely wanted this character to look very powerful um, and I also wanted him to have sort of like this uh, jaunty modern attitude I don't even know how to explain it like the other two characters were very much um, more on the uh, restrained side and I wanted this to basically be like the party boy of the group because the synthesizer really allows you to do whatever you want. You can be really silly with it. I know a lot of electronic pianos that I used to play around with when my parents were shopping and like like Costco or something uh, they would have them on display and there was always like a, a version where it was just like making weird animal sounds so I wanted this character to be sort of like goofy because um, you would not catch a classical piano uh, doing any of that I gave him sort of the general like silhouette and outfit of a concert pianist but then I made sure to throw in a lot of less formal elements like particularly in his full body shot I just had him have um, only the like the suit jacket and then pants um, so he looks kind of more like a wild party boy. I also gave him these like crazy triangle shades. I just really felt like they would suit him and I needed something that would take him wildly out of this like formal wear kind of section and um, basically just deal with the juxtaposition of the piano which is a very formal very classical instrument and all the lights and buttons and cyberpunk energy that the synthesizer brings to the table. <laughs> Storyline wise, I feel like he would definitely be like a child prodigy who was praised too much when he was a kid and now really wants to like have fun and goof off because he had too much pressure on him. I really feel like uh, that's kind of the storyline of how his personality came to be. Um, and for the color palette, I literally just sampled everything straight out of the image and I think it turned out really interesting, sort of a mix of rainbow colors and grayscale. The next instrument I wanted to make a character out of is the shamisen. Now this is a very traditional Japanese instrument, however, um, I was particularly inspired by this one that I have an image up of right now. Uh, the color palette and the glass pegs at the top were just so... Um, striking to me that I wanted to make a character specifically based on this one even though it's not really the most traditional colors and um, even materials that you would see in a shamisen. Um, a shamisen is a three-stringed instrument and uh, it's an incredibly hard one to master. It doesn't have frets like a western guitar um, so you really have to kind of like a violin get used to putting your fingers in very specific spots. Though geisha would sometimes play the shamisen with their fingernails, um, most people when they play it, uh, play it with a very large guitar pick called a bachi, which is a um, plectrum that basically uh, flares out at the end. Um, so I decided to put one on the end of a necklace and give it to this character. And overall I was just trying to use um, the shapes and stuff from this particular shamisen as much as I could. Um, I gave him these sort of like demon horns out of the pegs at the top because that was what was really striking to me about this as well as that overwhelmingly like very dark black color uh, throughout the rest of the instrument. I just thought that this this balance of colors was so striking so I really wanted to try and incorporate that throughout the entire character. 
I gave him a piercing through his ear that was supposed to kind of look like the other part of the pegs at the top that actually tighten the strings. Um, I don't know how much that reads, but uh, I was really trying to use everything that I saw in this instrument throughout this character, and I really wanted to stick to the color palette. Um, I really think that I rely too much on very light colors often, um, so I'm trying to push myself to use like richer, darker colors throughout my character designs, especially if I'm doing something sort of fantastical there's really no reason to hold back and use basic colors um, so I really tried to give off that like overwhelming color palette that like really elegant really ethereal sort of look that I felt from looking at the instruments and I decided to give him some like strong uh, lighting it's sort of like a pinkish light that casts across his skin um, which I think makes it look really cool and interesting personally <laughs> He definitely looks like he has a cool and distant sort of personality, and I really like how all of these characters have sort of their own energy that they're bringing to the table. I feel like I could see a webcomic with these guys. Um, please let me know if you want to see any more instruments or any other character design videos. Um, I take your guys' ideas very seriously. And speaking of music, thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Raycon sent me these Everyday E25 earbuds, and as soon as I tried them, I agreed to the sponsorship. They're half the price of the earbuds I was using before, and in my opinion, they actually sound better. The rose gold color is really cute, they last six hours on a single charge, and they're really comfortable. I was genuinely surprised by the clarity and the richness of the sound. They provide a surprising amount of bass, and I also love this tiny little carrying case that comes with them. On a single charge of the carrying case, you can get four full charges of your earbuds, so that's pretty great. They come with accessories to make sure that they're going to fit into your ears, and they also come in a rainbow of colors, so they should fit your aesthetic no matter what. I really like to wear them when I'm walking around doing chores around the house or when I'm on airplane rides because the Bluetooth tethering is so easy and it works even pretty far away from your phone. I honestly can't recommend them enough. If you go to buyraycon.com slash lavendertown, you'll get 15% off your order. So if you're in the market for some earbuds, you should definitely check it out. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Abnormal Crap, Ambrose, Best Kaiju, Lion, Christopher, Clockwork Construct, Dark Jelly, Dr. Casket, Larry Louie, Emily Borgoing, Fable Tell, Juliana, Davis, Griffix, Hidden Squid, Ice Cream Pal, Ivan Rodriguez, JJJ, John Mosket, Joseph Copel, Lauren, Le Blah Blah Blah, Liliana Hammond, Maria Costa, Mr. Dr. Pants, Mia Lavali, Nicole Ludwak, Nicolette Queen, Nora Cornelson, Hugh Musgrove, Rainwater Pearls, Rune Rain Crow, Snow White, Some Mediocre Artists, Sparky Plays, The Becky, Tom David Johansson, Trace Subaki, Violet Zirkelbach, Yaboyas T, and Yume Lily.